We'd heard so much about how beautiful the sunrise is in Seattle, so we wanted to experience it. We were greeted by the foggy sound, what we call the bay in Florida, which is equally as beautiful. been up for a couple hours. We took a ride to Daymone Beach Park to go see if we could see sunrise, but um, it was really foggy. Here in Seattle, it's like super foggy until the sun really comes out and kills the fog, so. But it was a pretty cool spot. It, it like almost seems... In a quarter mile, turn left onto the ramp. when you're there, but then it, uh, I don't know, it's a weird area, but it's definitely cute. And we took a couple photos. And we just went home, we got all packed up, and we're about to take a two hour drive to somewhere special to take some good photos again. We also have heard about how beautiful Mount Rainier is. So we took a drive there. And we got lucky the day cleared out. We're not that far, we're only like 19 miles, but 19 miles here takes double the time because we're driving 30 miles an hour to the mountain right now. Yeah. If Derek didn't have anyone in front, he'd be whizzing through the club. So if you come to Mount Rainier, you have to pay thirty dollars to get in. And I guess the pass is good for a whole week, uh, as long as you keep it. So I guess if you're going to come here and do a lot of hikes, you know it's definitely worth it. Um, she said something too. They have annual passes if you're here often, but. All I know is for $30, I'm going to see a black bear and a mountain goat. I'll be okay if I don't see a moose. There's a viewpoint over here. Alright, so we stopped uh, somewhere on our way to a hike trail in Mount Rainier National Park. We're gonna, we saw a view of uh, Badger Mountain from somewhere, so we're going to go check it out. So right before we get to Myrtle, Myrtle Creek Trail, there's this uh, little short trail on a Cods Creek viewpoint where we can see the Mount Rainier from. And the day just turned out so perfect today. Uh, it was muggy and sunny, that, uh, muggy and rainy the last few days, but today just turned out so good. I mean, we can. Literally see the snow on top of the mountain over there. That's so cool. It's almost about half an hour from the entrance until you reach to the summit of the mountain. So we are uh, at the topmost uh, parking area in uh, Mount Rainier. Um, the hike trail that was supposed to say on the map, it said it was supposed to go down there, but it goes down the hill, um, which is not what we're going to do. So we decided we're gonna park on the side of the road. We parked right over there, and uh, we're walking. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting some extra steps in. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's freaking warm out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cold all morning, but the sun is shining. We're taking a hike through Mount Rainier. Um, we're trying to find Myrtle Falls first, and then we're going to probably travel along the Skyline Trail from there. Supposedly it's supposed to be a pretty easy trip. Let's hope. So we're going to be on this, high, 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 in this trail for about 10.5 miles to go to get to Myrtle Falls. That's right. So when you come to Mount Rainier, you notice that they have, uh, besides the pine trees, they have a uh, a lot of shrubbery plants. They basically are grown there to prevent erosion, like here. Because otherwise, if it was just bare land, bare soil, this, this old mountain would start getting eroded and the dirt would be moving down there. So they have to grow these to stop it from uh, erosion. That's not bad. I mean, if you look down that way, it's a pretty steep hill, but 
There's like pier here is where we've been stopping and catching our breath and taking photos. It's very picturesque. So we met a ranger over they told us there's a mama bear and little cubs walking up the mountain. So we made a, a stupid mistake, a stupid hiking mistake. We left water in the car and the ranger told us not to go up the trail because it's steep and uh, the attitude affects you. She even gave us uh, water out of a water bottle and stuff. Um, so she recommended another trail that we're taking right now. There's all these people like coming this way towards us and we're going down. This thing is so steep going up along the mountain and when Derek and I, we showed you guys earlier where we parked but we walked back up, thank God we did because I think it was taking us to the bottom of this, we would have done it the opposite way. I would have been like dying. It's beautiful, but it's way better to go downhill for most of it. <laughs> so if you want to hike the... What is the name of this trail again? Skyline Trail. Skyline Trail um, in Mount Rainier. So you gotta start by the visitors uh, information center. Bring it back down. So if you start from the bottom, it's gonna bring you up to the mountain and then back to the visitors information center. Yes, so. that, that way is way better. Yeah. I would recommend any trail you're gonna do in the Paradise section. Start at the visitor center because it all starts right behind it, and then you can walk and it's not too crazy. Yeah. I mean, it gets crazier if you keep going, but it's a lot easier to start that way. Definitely when you come out here, you need to bring uh, some water and good hiking shoes. And make sure you are fit to hike up a mountain. Well, babe. I mean, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely, if you're gonna come here and you're kind of like me, where I mean, I exercise and stuff, and I'm, I can hike, but I can't do extreme hiking. So, I, you guys want advice on the best trail to take here? That's definitely doable and it's beautiful. Let us know. Yeah. So, this is kind of like where our car took us. And that's why we turned around. But, so we started here at the Paradise Visitor Center. If you go behind it, we did this trail so you can come to the falls. If you walk just right here, you get amazing views of the mountain. And we saw black bears. And then instead of going up here, which this is where it gets real crazy. So if you're an extreme hiker, you want to go up here. Otherwise, we went like this and then down. And this, even though it, doesn't, it looks like it's going up on the map, it, that whole thing was just downhill. Otherwise, we would have been going uphill the whole time. And win the minute. <laughs> Maybe you should go get the car over here. We were supposed to park over here, and we did not. So this is a hard part. So if you're going to go through this high trail through here, this is where it's hard. So... Yeah. Don't do this one if, uh, if, if you're not that fit. All right, so now we're walking up a hill to go get our car because um, we didn't park where, regardless, we would have walked. <laughs> Imagine if we went down down there and then came back, and then we have to come back for our car. So might as well. All right, it's been a sweaty day. We just changed. So it's nice because we always make a day out of uh, everything, and so we always bring like change of clothes. Just in case. Alright, well we are now in Packwood and we're heading to a brewery. We'll be there in a couple minutes. It's funny because I looked on the map earlier and I was like, we should go to this brewery. But then it was like an hour out of the way. So we're like, nah, we'll just head back. But for some reason, there must have been a crash on one of the routes and it rerouted Derek's GPS this way. And we happened to actually be going down the same road the brewery's on. So Derek thinks I rigged it. Yep, totally did. Alright, so we ended up at a Parkwood Brewing Company over here in uh, Parkwood, right? It's the Parkwood? Is this the town? 
Yeah. Or in Jackwood. Yeah. I don't know, is there a skate park? Like, in, there's inns, I saw that. Yeah, there's lodges and stuff. Right, it's big as, the big ass beer. Oh, yeah. Is that real? It's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a. Uh, yeah. Kill deer. Yeah. They like to kill deer here. <laughs> They're all over. There's one behind the bar, too, and there's one in that room. <laughs> This is the first place we've been to, well, maybe it's because they serve food, but they're letting us sit inside, which is awesome. Yeah. I'm on this comfy-ass couch after, what, a three-hour hike? Yeah. Very nice. We've got a race back home, and we're probably going to have about, I anticipate, 15 minutes to get ready, which includes showering, doing my hair, because we're going to try to make sunset at the same place we went to sunrise, and then we have dinner reservations at a special place where if we don't show up, they're going to charge us $50. So, it's a place that we saw on uh, an Anthony Bourdain episode when he's in Seattle, so we're pretty excited to go. And then I could appeal it, but, but then it's... We had our dinner a little bit late and uh, we came to Mam Noon, a traditional Middle Eastern restaurant uh, based in uh, downtown Seattle. We ordered some wine and some appetizers, then we spent the evening just talking and relaxing and just reminiscing the day. It was beautiful. Our food was amazing. Personally, if I'm to be honest, I would not get the appetizer. But that's just me. Other people probably would love it. This though was freaking amazing. I think it was called Falad. F A L L E. Pate. Pate. Yeah, pate. Oh, sorry. It's called pate. It was freaking amazing. It was like these like crispy pieces of pita, almost like a tortilla chip, but pita with vegetables and like a Greek yogurt and, and uh, fresh herbs. It was really freaking good. And even though I don't like lamb, I had some of Derek's lamb meatballs and those were good too. So, we're happy we came. It was a good experience. We've been having, we had like an amazing day. Today was the best day ever since we've been here. So we're gonna go find somewhere to have a nightcap. Derek just had to ask me what the nightcap was. And then we're gonna head home because we have like another hour on our uh, parking fee or whatever you wanna call it. But we're gonna say goodnight because we don't wanna be messy, crazy people. And good night. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like our video. Because a lot of people watch our videos and they're not subscribed. So we'd love if you subscribe. If you want to be kept up to date, you can hit the notification button. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.